bakers, this holiday season I'm very excited to be partnered with Ghirardelli to bring you some big and bold chocolate recipes. This week we are making hot chocolate and toasted marshmallow cookies, an over the top twist on a holiday favourite. So let's get baking. These cookies are fudgy, almost brownie like in the centre. They are definitely for chocolate lovers, so do not be shy with the chocolate chips. I'm making my cookie dough on my stand mixer. You can always use an electric hand mixer and you can make it by hand, it just takes a little bit more elbow grease. In your bowl, add in your room temperature butter and your lovely treacly brown sugar. Then on a medium high speed, cream these both really well together. It's important for your butter to be at room temperature because it whips up so much better. Okay, now that this is creamed, I'm going to add in our eggs one at a time and then just beat after each addition so it's all well combined. Now that the eggs are incorporated, it's time to add in my sweetest secret, the chocolate. When it comes to your chocolate, use good quality chocolate. I'm using Ghirardelli 60% bittersweet chocolate chips and I'm going to melt it over a bain-marie, but you can also melt it very gently in the microwave. Your chocolate will only take a few minutes to melt. You can melt your chocolate in advance because you want it to be nice and cool before you add it to the cookie mix. To add in your chocolate, turn your machine onto medium speed and slowly drizzle it in. Our cookie mix already looks divine. So to this, we're going to add in the rest of our dry ingredients. Add in your flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, salt, and vanilla extract. And then mix up all again until well combined. Before I turn on the machine again, I always like to give my dry ingredients a little bit of a mix up together before they get incorporated into the rest of the batter. Back on again at medium speed until your dough just comes together. The last ingredient into our cookie dough is a lot of chocolate chips. That's what really elevates these cookies and makes them over the top chocolatey. Now just turn back on your mixer very gently just to incorporate the chocolate chips. Only takes around 10 seconds. And this is our triple chocolate cookie dough. It looks really good. Tastes delicious. So you'll notice that this cookie dough is really soft. So what we want to do is pop it in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes. And then after that, it'll be much easier to scoop. It has been 30 minutes. Our cookie dough is lovely and stiff. So it's the perfect time to scoop it and get it onto our tray. To scoop my cookie dough, I take a tablespoon and I get a nice heap of cookie dough on it. Lots on top. And then I put it into my hand and I just give it a quick little shape. It's a bit of a messy job, but that's okay. And then onto the baking tray. These cookies do spread when baking, so make sure you give them lots of space on the tray. Also, this is a great time to freeze your dough while it's still raw and already scooped. So then later on, when you want another fresh cookie, take out your ball, pop it in the oven, and you're good to go. Before we bake our cookies off, you actually want to go and just give the top of the cookie a little bit of a smush. I believe that's the technical term. And it's just to flatten down the top. Not too much, because they will naturally spread out themselves. And there you have it. Our cookies look great. We're scooped, we're smushed, we're ready for the oven. Bake your cookies off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for roughly 15 to 18 minutes. My timer's gone off and my kitchen smells like warm, lovely chocolate, so I'm pretty sure my cookies are done. Our cookies are fresh out of the oven and they look beautiful. They have all of these lovely natural crinkles, which I love, and I can tell that they're really nice and fudgy underneath there. While they're still warm, pop a marshmallow on top. I cut mine in half so they'd fit better. Now pop the cookies back into the oven under the broiler or grill until the marshmallows are lovely and toasted. The marshmallows are perfect, they're caramelized lovely. I'm going to give it a bit of a squish and see how gooey the marshmallow is underneath. While the cookies are warm out of the oven, I'm going to break one open so you can see what I'm making all this fuss about. Look at that. Look how gooey the marshmallow is and how fudgy that cookie is in the middle. What a perfect combination. These cookies have two layers of flavor. They're rich and dark and sweet and gooey. Everything you want in a cookie. How will you bake with Ghirardelli this holiday? Be sure to share photos with me of your holiday baking with the hashtag sweetest secret. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here every Thursday for more bigger, bolder baking.